Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Vine Sports Classic, the number one channel for all Jamaican football. But we will be doing the World Cup 2022 Qatar coverage coming to you very, very, very soon. We're going to first start off because today is exactly one month. There we are, October 20th, which is exactly one month to the World Cup 2020 start in Qatar. So today we're going to be going through the two main groups that I know of, and then in future videos you will see the other groups where Ryan will be giving more perspective of Germany and etc. But here we go. I've got my guest, of course. He is the host of this channel, Mr. Ryan himself. Good afternoon, Ryan. Thank you very much for having me, man. Good afternoon, Jersey boy. How are you doing? I'm doing very, very good. How are you doing? Let's I'm doing good. fantastic. Can't good, complain. Good. I'm just looking forward for the World Cup. I hope Germany I can do well go. and win the World Cup, but let's see what's going to happen. No, but anyway, we're going to start off with a group close to me because I am half English, but you see I'm wearing a French kit, so you can clearly say that I'm not a pop England supporter, but we'll go through England's group first. And we're going to start off ryan with england okay england have had a terrible terrible nations league campaign they got relegated so they're now in league b obviously in the european championships they went for a final lost on penalties to italy and in the previous world cup got knocked out to croatia from a late manzukic goal i think it's manzukic or perisic scored a late minute goal in extra time um how do you feel about England coming into this World Cup? I believe that England have a great chance to do something great, probably make it to the quarterfinal or the semi-final. But to win a tournament, I don't think England have the manager to win this World Cup with this manager. But England have the players to go to the next level. But I think what kind of amp England is the coach. And the coach, Gary Sotheed, has done fantastic for England. But you see, when it comes on to the Nation League, it has been very, very poor. In my opinion, I think he, he should have won the Euro at home in England. That was the major opportunity for England to win something. But they come up short again very well in the last World Cup. But for me, I think England going to come out of this group and it's going to depend who England play in the next World Cup. Um, in the next group, but I think England have a very good chance to come out of this group. I think England have a good, good quality player, but they just don't have the coach to take them to that next level. As someone who's half British, and we go a little bit in depth, so I've been watching England for quite a long time, you know, as also with France. With England, um, I find that with Gareth Southgate, the team is too defensive. England have one of the best attacking options in the world. And they don't get used. Like, you've got Trent Alexander-Arnold. He can't even make it in the starting eleven. You've got players like Mason Mount, Sterling, Sterling good, Sancho, which I don't know why he's not, you know, he doesn't get, he wasn't involved with the Nations League. You've got... Um, You've got some great players and the centre-back situation and everything, you know. I guess, again, Maguire is very good for, for England, but recently he hasn't been good for England whatsoever. You know, in the, in the Germany game where England drew 3 p of Germany, Maguire was at fault for at least two goals. So, um, as in serious changes for England, for me, Trent should be called up. Gomez should be called up definitely on the four he's in at the moment. Gomez should I'm presenting be called up Tomori, etc. Tony. There's a lot of good options, but I think Gal Southgate, if England have any chance of going winning or going to the final of this World Cup, just got to stop being so defensive. Um, I agree, Dan. They have some so quality player. So for me, England will make the quarterfinals and, and get knocked out. <clears throat> Probably, I'm going quarterfinal too. I think if they have a better manager to use the player them in the right position, because you have Phil Ford, you have Saka, you have Harry Kane, you have Sterling. When you look, you have Declan Rice, you have Calvin Phillips, you have Anderson. You know, you have Bellingham, some good... Bellingham as well. You've got Bellingham. Bellingham. They have some good player, but the manager don't 
seems to get the best out of this England team. But for me, I am going with England to top this group. And the second team we're going to look at, what do you think about United States and Wales? Do Who you think going to come up? Mm. So, for a second of all, we'll go to the other side of the UK, Wales. I think Wales have had a great campaign to, to get to this World Cup. Obviously, they... Um, they um, qualified via the playoffs. It's great to see. Obviously, Wales, it was Wales of Scotland going to go through. I'm thankful it's Wales because England and Wales don't have that deep rivalry as England and Scotland do. England and Scotland is proper hatred. You know how it is when Argentina and Brazil play each other. It's like proper war. And uh, we... Last time we played Scotland, we had a nil-nil draw. We weren't very good. England, Wales. We've, last time we played England, we played Wales. England battered them. So, listen for me. For me, Wales are doing very good. They've got you know more. They've got Gareth Bale. They've got Daniel James. They've got um, what's up, Harry Wilson. They've got Nico Williams. They've got some good players. Wales. But I just think compared to the other two teams, will they do well? Um, I'm not too sure on Wales yet, but I probably will put them in third place with me, Wales. For me, for me, I think the United States have some very good player, and this is the problem. Seems like United States and England in the same situation. I think Berlata is not the greatest manager. I think this United States team bigger than him, although he has won so much with so much with, 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 with the United States and accomplish a lot with the United States. But to play at the highest level, you see that they lost to Japan. Japan beat them. I think teams, um, the Wales in this group, going to find England going to find it really difficult. Um, United States going to find it really difficult to play against team like Wales. Much high temper they play. But I am going with um, United States to become took runners up in this one will third and i'm going with um i think a lot of people underestimating it mating iran bro iran were yeah. a very 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 good team you, i think you were underestimating iran iran in the last world cup um they was they they qualified the next stage bro iran in their last world cup bro they only lost one game to spain and it was a 1-0 loss. They drew 1-1 to Portugal. They lost to Spain 1-0. And then they beat Morocco 1-0. So yeah. Iran, Iran is a very difficult team to play against, Jersey Boy. And I really expect Iran to do well and make it difficult for three of these teams in the group. I think I'm Iran... going to change my predictions. I'm going 1, England, 2, Iran, 3, US, 4, Wales. Okay, I am going to stick with my one. England, USA, Wales, Iran. I think Iran going to last off of the quality of these both of these teams. So that's it, guys. Um, for people wondering, just so you know, before uh, we finish the video, we will be doing a huge coverage of the World Cup next month in watch alongs, previews for each match. We will be doing those. They will be split on the Ryan, on Ryan LFC and Ryan Sports Classics. So make sure to look out for the Twitter accounts, social media, which you can see below, or up top, or on the community page, and we'll be announcing what watch alongs will be where. So make sure to leave a like, subscribe for the big World Cup 2022 coverage on uh, both channels. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Share your thoughts down in the comment section. Until next time, from your boy Ryan LFC and Jersey Boy, we like to say peace out. Thanks for watching.